On today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to increase online presence. Hello, and welcome to episode 38 of Tip for Tip, where you ask your marketing question in exchange for a tip in your industry. My name is Aaron. And my name is Christian. And today we have Ken Hendricks with Country Specialties. Hi, I'm Ken Hendricks with Country Specialties, and we offer high quality meat gift packs for all occasions. Uh, have items that are great for holiday uh, season, any type of gift giving, uh, whether it be uh, birthdays, anniversaries. Uh, we offer high quality uh, meat products that are shipped directly to your front door and uh, standard three-day shipping is included in the cost of our products so visit us at countryspecialties.com and my question for bit branding is uh, how or what is your suggestion to uh, increase our online presence see the number one thing that you need to do to increase your online presence is to stay consistent. Absolutely. That's the number one thing. So I would suggest to, I mean, obviously we tell people to at least post four to five times per week, maybe even a little bit more, but start with a lower number, maybe two or three times per week mm -hmm. and build up from there. And the key here, again, is just to stay consistent. Um, and you wanna create some of your own material, not just sharing posts from other pages or, or any of that stuff. Right, they're there to see your posts. It's great that you're having that exposure, but they're there to see posts about country specialties. Otherwise, they'd go watch those other pages. Exactly. But I think that it, I mean, Christian hit the nail on the head as far as uh, consistency, and Facebook favors that as well. If you're not posting consistently, they're not gonna show it to your audience. And when you want somebody to purchase something towards the end of the year, say the holidays, it's a big time for you guys. If you don't have any posting before that, Facebook's not gonna reward you just because you wanna sell something right now. Um, so follow Facebooks and then follow just human nature. We don't wanna go and buy something from you. We wanna, we wanna make a purchase from somebody that we trust and you build up that relationship with consistency and posting. Yep. All right, let's hear your tip for us. Okay, our uh, tip for the holiday season and really any time of the year is our uh, dishwasher ham recipe. Uh, yes, you heard it right, dishwasher ham recipe. Uh, you take our, uh, order one of our uh, high quality smoked hams, peppered hams, leave it in the packaging uh, whenever you get it. Uh, set it out, kind of bring it to room temperature on the counter. Uh, from there, you take the ham in the packaging, put it in a colander so it can drain. Uh, actually take that and set that on the bottom uh, rack of your dishwasher. Key is do not add soap. From there, uh, just turn your dishwasher on, uh, let the dishwasher go through the entire cycle, all the way through the drying cycle, and when everything's completed and your dishwasher uh, goes through the, the cycle and turns off, take the ham out, uh, set the ham on the counter, let it sit there for approximately 30 minutes uh, to rest. That way it will uh, absorb all the juices and everything back in the ham that may have uh, escaped during the heating process. And whenever you take that out of the packaging and cut it and slice it for your holiday meal or any time meal, that'll be the most moist, tender, and flavorful ham that you'll ever have. Again, it's a great uh, uh, space saving tip during the holidays because you never have enough oven space, so why not use your dishwasher? Visit us at uh, countryspecialties.com and order your ham and we'll ship it uh, directly to your front door. Dishwasher ham. Yes. I've never heard of that, and uh, I guess I'll have to try it. Me neither. He's, he's skeptical. I think it's going to be really, really good. Because this I, is the name, and uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, no. I've had firsthand testimony say that this is the best ham that they've ever had, so I'm just going to like cook like two or three of them, maybe two, have Christian try it out. He won't know the difference, and then we'll have a real uh, experience of what he thinks about it. I guess. We'll have to do that. So... Thank you, Ken. Uh, I just want a, a ham, so we'll, we'll test it out with that. But, uh, Ken, thank you again for coming on the show. If uh, you guys would like to find out more about Ken, the information for his uh, specialty meat is in the description. And if you are a business owner in 2017, this is a new year, trying to grow your business online with free Facebook advertising, you need to be on our show. All you do is go to bitbraining.co forward slash tip for tip. Type in there, send us a mission, we'll get a hold of you, get you on this show. That's it. Yep, we'll see you next week.